tonight, as we gather with family members and friends, we we'll offer our prayers of thanksgiving and gratitude to God Almighty for preserving our lives and seeing us through this year. We acknowledge that 2022 was another challenging year for Nigeria and the generality of our people due to their economic situations that prevailed for too long. Still, we have every reason to thank God for the prevailing peace, the success we recorded, and the opportunity to look forward confidently to the promise of a new beginning with a new year. As a government, we all know where we started seven and a half years ago and where we are now approaching the sunset of our eight years tenure. For our team and my humble self, Governor River State has been a mixed bag of challenges, excitement, and fulfillment. At the onset, our inherited challenges looked frightening and overwhelming. Every sector was virtually destroyed and required a radical surgical operation to repair, restore, and regenerate. We quickly rose to meet every challenge with courage and determination to advance and serve the people's best interests in line with our vision and as demanded by our mandate. Last year, we delivered as many projects and progress as possible with the resources at our disposal, including trunk air roads, dual carriages, flyovers, bridges, internal community roads, schools, hospitals, and judicial infrastructure across the length and breadth of River State. We have worked hard with security agencies to keep River State peaceful, safe, and secure throughout the year. We spare no effort, resources, or commitment to achieve the peace and sense of security everyone now enjoys. Going around the state, we can see several private and public investment projects in Port Harcourt and other places indicative of the healthy state of the economy, investors increasing confidence on the economic benefits derived from the modern infrastructures were provided, which has no equal across the country. It is barely five months for us to exit the stage for our successor, but our commitment to more project delivery and better the loss of our people is still strong. I assure you, therefore, that we shall endeavor to complete almost all ongoing projects, including the ones now being flagged off before the end of our tenure. While we give all the glory to God for taking us this far, we thank the good people of River State for the immeasurable support of our government from the beginning till now. There is no way we could have achieved all we have done for River State without your support cooperation, and ceaseless prayers for which we shall remain eternally grateful. We also extend our profound gratitude to all the security agencies for working with us and working around the clock under challenging conditions to fight crime and keep River State safe and secure. Today, no one can deny that River State is one of the safest with much lower crime rates in our country, which is the direct result of your firm and practical commitment to your security responsibilities to the state and its people. Let me assure you that we shall continue to provide the motivational and logistical support you need to effectively secure lives and property throughout River State at all times. Fellow River citizens, the 2020 general elections, which are less than two months away, are an opportunity for us to elect the next set of leaders to lead the country and our state for the next four years. Your vote and effective participation are, therefore, crucial to the success of the elections. However, it is more critical to allow rational objectives to guide you in choosing the party or candidates to vote for, to avoid the emergence of those who do not mean well 
for our state and our development. We must vote wisely and only for a party and candidates that love River State and are ready to advance and defend its interests, not those candidates who would fail the state and neglect our aspirations for development. It is not in our character to interfere with or limit the constitutional rights of politicians and their parties to hold rationality campaigns and canvass for votes across the length and breadth of the state. But we must be reminded that the laws and regulations restricting open political activities in public schools and residential areas are being implemented to prevent the destructive tendencies and public nuisance usually associated with such events when things go wrong. Ours is a state governed by laws and no person, group, party, or association has the right to disobey the laws of the state managing campaign activities in public schools and expect us to keep quiet. Any political party or candidate that wishes to hold campaigns in public schools must comply with the law by simply securing the government's approval after paying the required security deposit before the rally. Any one of party with strong feelings against the legitimacy of the extant laws is free to approve the cause for appropriate redress instead of deliberately misinterpreting the intendments and mounting unnecessary resistance to the authority of the government to enforce the laws of the land meant for the protection of the public. Let it be known that no amount of threat or violence will dissuade us from enforcing these and other laws to keep privacy safe, peaceful, and secure before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. Consequently, any person, group, political party, or association that dares the resolve of the government on this issue can only have their fingers badly bought by the legal consequences of ill-advised actions. My dear brothers and sisters, there's no doubt that 2022 has been a transformational year for our state, and the feeling of optimism and hope for a greater river state with shared prospects and opportunities for all is intense. With the expected seamless succession in the governance of the state in 2023, we can be more hopeful for the continuity that we need to consolidate the progress on the concrete foundations already laid and take River State to the next level of sustainable peace, security, development, and prosperity. Finally, as we usher in and celebrate the new year 2023 with utmost optimism, let us remain vigilant and continue putting River State and our lives in God's safe and caring hands. I wish everyone a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. May God continue to bless our dear River State and protect our security operatives.